slide you over, so just chuck it back a frack. Welcome to Golf in Cornwall. Today's program we feature Mullion Golf Club and Hollywell Bay Golf Club. We also take a look at the Cornwall PGA. We start tonight's program by looking at Mullion Golf Club. Mullion Golf Club is situated on the cliffs of the Lizard Peninsula and is the most southerly golf course in mainland England. The club was founded in 1895 and has outstanding views from all over the course. The club offers a warm and friendly welcome to both members and visitors. The course has a par of 70 and consists of two par 5s, four par 3s and 12 par 4s. It measures just over 6,000 yards from the men's competition tees and provides a real test of golf for all abilities. Head greenkeeper Gordon Tamlin and his team do a great job on maintaining the condition of the course and the greens are kept to a high standard all year round. Mullion has over 50 junior members at the club. The juniors play regular competitions every Saturday morning and have a fantastic pathway for both beginner and experienced juniors. I've been joined by Mullion uh, junior organisers Jill and Tony Bayliss. Uh, Tony, how long have you been involved with the juniors here at Mullion? Uh, right, well, 1997, the year I was captain, um, we decided to restructure the junior section. It was taken over by two people called Peter and Sharon Moyle. They quickly developed it to a very large section, and they ran that superbly. We took it over about eight years ago now, um, completely, and we've tried to progress since then. And uh, yes, as long as that, it's been quite a long time, but very, very rewarding. Yeah. And uh, can you tell us about some of the structure for the juniors here, Joe? Yes, they start off having a session down at the, or several sessions down at the academy with our professional, uh, well, our professionals Ian Harris and uh, Nick Martin and Chris Ramsden. And then they progress when they feel ready, then they've done their session with them, they progress up to us. And we start them on five holes, starting at the 150 marker so that they just get a feel for the golf course. And then they progress up from five holes to nine holes off black tees, 12 holes, then 18 holes off black tees. And then when we feel we're re they're ready to move up, then they move up to yellows and red tees. So it's a fantastic participation pathway. So obviously you can go from the five to the nine and then so on to the 12 so before they can become full 18 hole uh, juniors. That's correct. Yes, exactly right. Um, of course, there's huge participation from the club members. We've got a very large committee that help us out. We could never do it all on our own. They're fantastic. Um, yes, they do develop very quickly. We we also strongly get them to come to various opens throughout the county. And uh, we've got a coach supplied by the Lizard Outreach Trust. And we drive them around. And uh, terrific. They're doing very, very well. The club's three PGA professionals, Ian Harris, Nick Martin and Chris Ramsden, hold coaching throughout the year and during school holidays to ensure the juniors have the best chance to fulfil their golfing potential. The club's impressive structure led to Mullion Golf Club being the first club in Cornwall to be accredited with Golfmark in August 2007. There is also adult coaching available at Mullion Golf Club and they offer an extensive programme for getting new people into the game. I've been joined by PJ professional Nick Martin. Uh, Nick, can you tell us about some of the coaching here? Yes, Simon. Uh, I provide golf tuition for all ages and abilities. That could be anything from an uh, adult beginner coaching session right through to an advanced specialist putting session. And we saw you um, coaching earlier. Um, how have you got on with uh, Cornwall Golf Week? Yeah, Cornwall Golf Week's proved to be really popular all about trying to get more people into golf get get them trying the game and hopefully get them into the club membership as quickly as possible and uh, with regards to the beginners coaching uh, what sort of things do you work on with the with the beginners uh, with the beginners we just work on the basics you know really the fundamentals that are going to stand them in good stead uh, over a long-term period and uh, any junior coaching that you deprive as well? Yeah, I do lots of coaching uh, alongside you know the golf foundation. Uh, I go to a lot of local primary schools and teach tri golf and golf extreme in secondary schools. 
Nick has created some fantastic links over the last couple of years and has organised a number of community projects at local schools, Helston Sports Centre and the local pitch and putt course in Helston. Nick was also part of the coaching team that attended the City Golf event on Lemon Quay in Truro City Centre. As a result of the club's forward-thinking approach and structure for getting new people into the game, the club won the prestigious 2012 Cornwall Golf Mark Club of the Year Award. The club has a healthy adult membership as well as being popular with green fee and visiting players. I've been joined by Secretary Ray Griffiths and Captain Dave Howe. Oh, Ray, how long have you been here at Mullion? I've been here two and a half years, uh, came from up country, so very much a stranger to the club, but everybody has been most welcoming and uh, it's a great club to be a part of. And Dave, uh, what's the club like to be a member of? It's a fantastic club, it's a warm and friendly atmosphere, uh, the social side of things is great, um, Sharon in the catering side of things does a great job and we try and pull people in as much as we can. Uh, we have a thriving membership, the juniors run by Tony and Jill Bayliss are obviously a great part of the club and we, we're trying to move the club forward as much as we can, which is a great thing. And as well as membership, do you offer anything else Ray with regards to uh, golfers? Yes, we welcome societies and we have great packages for them. We've had a lot of societies already this year and uh, we're getting great feedback from them. Not only praise for the course and the quality of the greens, but also for the catering they get af after they've been in. And obviously some sort of stunning views as we can see out here, just behind us here. Uh, have you got a favourite hole on the, on the course, Dave? Yeah, I think the, the signature holes on the course really are holes 6 through to 14 when, I don't know if you feel, but obviously the, the scenery is fantastic, especially on a day like, like today. Um, if you could come every day, it would be a great thing for us. <laughs> but uh, I think uh, the stroke index one, which is the seventh hole, par four off, off the back uh, ch championship tees uh, is fantastic. You've got out of bounds right, trouble left. You've got to hit a good long drive and it also leaves a challenging second shot into a narrow green, but stroke index one and deservedly so, it's a great hole. There is a fully stocked professional shop, practice area, practice putting green and a large indoor teaching room with video analysis. The club have a comfortable bar and dining room that serves food daily. The club also holds regular social functions for members throughout the year. For more information about Mullion Golf Club, please visit their website www.mulliongolfclub.co.uk. Cornwall Golf Week 2013 took place between Saturday the 6th of April and Sunday the 14th of April and over 300 people were introduced to golf at 25 different golf clubs and driving ranges all over the county. Prior to the week, the Cornwall Golf Partnership held two City Golf Days on Lemon Quay in Truro City Centre to increase awareness of the game and to give shoppers the opportunity to have a golf lesson with a PGA professional. There were 250 people that tried golf on Lemon Key over the two days and 20 of the participants signed up to the group lessons during Cornwall Golf Week. China Fleet Golf Club did particularly well with them holding an open event on Monday the 8th of April. There were 50 people that tried golf during the open event and 32 people received free tuition during the week. All the participating clubs offered structured follow-on sessions for everyone who received coaching during Cornwall Golf Week and many of the people who took part will progress on to regular participations and golf membership during the year. This is the largest project the Cornwall Golf Partnership have been involved in since its formation in 2008. Initiatives like Cornwall Golf Week are an important part of the work the Cornwall Golf Partnership are involved in and making the game more accessible for all. I've been joined by the Cornwall Golf Partnership Chairman, Jerry Fitter. Uh, Jerry, how did you get involved with being in the partnership? Well, um, the Cornwall Golf Union decide to, uh, decided to join the partnership in 2008 and they asked me if I would take over and set up the first committee for it. And we went on from there, really, from uh, forming the partnership, forming a committee, uh, the ladies who are also involved, the County Ladies Golf Association and the Professional Golf Association. And we set up a committee and I remember our first meeting was at Carlion Bay. And we've made great advances since then by employing a development officer. And I should mention that we are funded by the uh, England Golf through the England Golf Partnership. And that's where we get our funding and our main role 
as the Cornwall Sports uh, Cornwall Golf Partnership is to get people to participate in the game of golf. And I think so far we have seemed to be doing and uh, going along the right roads on that uh, in that scheme. And you've worked in golf as well. Uh, how, do, how has golf changed over the years since you've uh, been involved? Well, it was the I was a golf club secretary here. I came here in 1996 and served um, in this golf club until 2010. And golf, really, you say, how has it evolved? Well, we've gone through a cycle of losing a lot of members. But if I give you an example, in England at the moment, uh, there are something like just over 600,000 uh, golfers uh, and about 100,000 lady golfers. In 2006, there were 750,000 male golfers and 129,000 lady golfers. So you can see that golfing as a whole has lost a tremendous amount of members. And that's what we are trying to do now as a Cornwall Golf Partnership, is to build that membership back up. Uh, we are, we're going to the Royal Cornwall Show uh, to show off the game of golf. And hopefully from there, we can get more people back into golf. Today, funnily enough, is the start of the Cornwall Golf Week, where all clubs in Cornwall, the majority of clubs in Cornwall, are putting on taster sessions, open days, encouraging people to come back in golf. And one of our, or one of the two main things that we're trying to do this year uh, in the golf is under two headings, is get into golf, and this includes the new people coming into golf for the first time, trying it out, trying the game of golf out, and to come back to golf. And that's for members who have uh, left the game through reasons, you know, financial reasons, or moving from area to area. And we're trying to get them back into the game of golf. But do you feel that obviously now, obviously 2013 now, golf clubs have got to do uh, a lot more nowadays to get members? Well, I think golf clubs have got to be proactive. They must keep, a, keep ahead of the game. Um, they have to, when these taster sessions are going on, they have to look at the people who are coming in and offer them uh, membership, uh, show them the club they got, show off their, what they've got at the club and encourage people to come in. We can, as a, a golf partnership, encourage people to take up the game, but I feel the golf clubs have got to take it then forward and get these people to take up the game and become members of golf clubs. England Golf has launched a national campaign called Get Into Golf to inspire people of all ages, backgrounds and abilities to take up the game. There are golf weeks taking place all over the South West over the next few weeks, with Dorset Golf Week organised between the 14th and 22nd of April, and Wiltshire Golf Week kicks off between the 27th and the 31st of May. There are also regional golf weeks further up the country, with Midlands Golf Week taking place between the 12th and 21st of April, and Eastern Golf Week between the 22nd and 28th of April. For more information about golf weeks happening all over the country, or for upcoming free taster sessions, please visit the Get Into Golf website, www.getintogolf.org. Trithorne Golf Club in Launceston has a popular 18-hole golf course and is offering a fantastic golf membership offer of three clubs for the price of one throughout 2013. Join Trithorne Golf Club and receive membership privileges at three clubs, including free golf at Los Withiel Golf Club and Boringdon Park Golf Club in Plymouth. For more information, contact Trithorne Golf Club on 01566 86903 or visit Trithorne's website www.trithorngolfclub.com Golf holidays and golf breaks in Cornwall. Weekend golf breaks in Cornwall from only £99 per person. Two nights, B&B, 
plus three rounds. With direct flights from Newquay Airport from many cities, direct rail links from London and the Midlands, and now motorway and dual carriageway right to the heart of the county. Please visit our website at www.newellstravel.co.uk or alternatively, please call us on 0800 008 7411. Nestled in 65 acres of subtropical gardens and on the banks of the Helford River, the award-winning Budokveen Hotel is a haven of peace and tranquility. There are outstanding leisure facilities at Budokveen, including a nine-hole golf course, indoor pool, health spa and restaurant. Book a stay of two or more nights during April and May and we'll give you a 15% discount off your room booking when you quote The Lady. Call us on 01326 252 100 to make your booking or visit www.budokveen.co.uk. China Fleet Golf and Country Club in Saltash has a fantastic championship golf course with stunning views of the River Tamar and is a great test of golf for all abilities. There are fantastic golf facilities at China Fleet with a 22 bay floodlit driving range and indoor golf simulator that feature over a hundred courses. Play golf at China Fleet throughout 2013 for a special four ball rate of only £100. China Fleet has extensive leisure and conference facilities as well as on-site accommodation. For more information about China Fleet Golf and Country Club please visit their website www.china-fleet.co.uk <laughs> Welcome back. We now go to our second feature club of today's show, Holywell Bay Golf Club. Holywell Bay Golf Club was founded in 1974 and is situated on the spectacular North Cornwall coastline between Newquay and Perranporth. It is a stunning 18-hole short course with first-class fairways, fast greens and coastal views overlooking the beautiful Holywell Bay beach. It is a truly entertaining and competitive course for golfers of all standards. The holes are all par threes and range from 89 yards to 220 yards and the course is very popular with both locals and visiting golfers. The course record is a two under par round of 52 set by Mark Wilson in 2007. As well as the golf course there is an 18 hole pitch and putt for anyone who is not yet ready for the main course. The club offers excellent value membership and there are over 150 golf members currently at Holywell Bay Golf Club. I've been joined by Hollywell Bay golf manager Jack Johnson. Uh, Jack, how long have you been here at Hollywell? I've uh, actually been here for about seven years. I've been the manager for four years and uh, a very impressive place it is to work. And uh, what, what sort of drew you to come and work here? Um, well, <laughs> to be honest with you, I, uh, I sort of went into semi-retirement, found out about the job down here, fancied it, and I came and I enjoy it. Love it. Yeah. Yeah. And it's a fantastic facility, 18 holes, short course and pitch and putt. Uh, does it get busy here in the, in the summer and, the, and during the course of the season? Oh yes, it gets very, very busy, particularly through the months of, of uh, July and August. We, get, we attract lots and lots and lots of holiday makers, as well as local people as well. And it seems to suit everybody. We've got, to, you know, the, we, we, can, we can accommodate uh, golfers of all different experiences. Uh, the more experienced golfers go on the, on the short course, the par three, and the uh, newcomers, relative newcomers, go on the pitch and putt. Yeah. And uh, obviously we've been out there today, some fantastic views out there. Uh, have you got a favourite hole on the golf course at all? I think probably my favourite hole of all is the 17th on the pitch and putt, um, which is called Death or Glory. It's uh, tee off from a, high, from a high position down down low and everyone seems to love that one. All the visitors comment on, uh, comment on it on every occasion. Short courses and pitch and parts are becoming increasingly popular, especially as a round of golf on the courses at Holywell Bay can be completed within two and a half hours. There is also professional tuition available at the club for both adults and juniors with a PGA professional, Phil Brooks. I've been joined by PJ professional Phil Brooks. Uh, Phil, how long have you been coaching here at Hollywell Bay? Just literally started um, early January this year. Um, um, I also teach over at uh, St Q Golf Club. Set up my own uh, teaching academy the January before. Um, I felt this was an ideal place to um, sort of expand my academy because um, it's a perfect place for beginners. Um, 18 hole par three course and. Um, and 18 holes uh, pitch and putt as well. So uh, yeah, it's ideal. And what sort of coaching do you offer here at Hollywood Bay? 
Well, all, all sorts really. We do uh, group coaching, uh, we're going to do uh, junior academy as well, um, and obviously individual lessons for all standards of players as well. And what about the course? Do you do online tuition as well? I don't do online yet, but um, I have a, an iPad so I can sort of email um, um, players' um, lessons to them. So. Uh, yeah, we're on and what about on the course? Do you do on course lessons? Yeah, yeah, we do on course lessons. Again, ideal uh, situation here. Uh, nice uh, par three holes. So, uh, yeah, we can uh, we can do that as well. And what do you think about short courses and par three courses nowadays? Well, it's, it's just the ideal way for people to get into playing golf. Obviously, because you know they haven't got to, too far to to hit the ball, and uh, you know it gives people a real appreciation of what the game's all about. Yeah, especially time-wise. I mean, obviously, Absolutely. you can go around the pitch and putt here in uh, yeah. in about two hours, so it really does save a lot of time, and uh, especially in busy lifestyles nowadays. Yeah, that's that's exactly right. I mean, even the uh, the slightly longer course, the bar three course, you can be around there in sort of two and a half hours, no problem at all. So, yeah, perfect on the time front as well. The club are holding a Get Into Golf Open Day on Saturday the 27th of April and offering free taster sessions for beginners. There will also be free access to the pitch and putt after each lesson. Woody's Bar and Restaurant offers a comfortable place to relax after a game and is open throughout the year. There is a large selection of food available between Easter and October. There is on-site accommodation at Holywell Bay with the five-star Travornic Holiday Park one of Cornwall's most popular family resorts. There are pitches for motorhomes, caravans and camping available on site and there are also two quality four-star self-catering cottages within walking distance of the golf club. Located next door is the Holywell Bay Fun Park and the park offers a range of fantastic activities including go-karting, crazy golf, blaster boats, trampolines and a shooting range. For more information about Holywell Bay Golf Club, please visit their website www.holywellgolf.co.uk. The Cornwall Professional Golfers Association is an organisation that serves the 50 PGA professionals in Cornwall and provides playing opportunities for all of the PGA members in the county. All of the professionals in Cornwall are attached to one of the golf clubs or driving ranges in the county and their roles vary from running their own busy pro shops to full-time coaches, growing the game and getting more people into golf. There are a number of professional tournaments and competitions throughout the summer in the West Region and the Cornwall PGA Alliance organises competitions during the quieter winter period. The Cornwall PGA Alliance started in the 1920s and provides the Cornish pros with the chance to regularly compete against one another. It also allows amateur golfers in the county to play in competitions with the professionals. There are 16 different events in the Cornwall Alliance and it runs from October through to the end of April every year. Each of the events are played in four ball better ball format and each season finishes with an individual alliance championships in April. The Cornwall PGA has teamed up with Tulip Limited for the 2013 season and each event is organised by Alliance Secretary David Higman and Treasurer Keith Traher. I've been joined by David Higman and Keith Traher. Uh, Dave, how long have you been involved with the Alliance? Simon, this is my fourth year involved as the Secretary of this uh, the Alliance. Um, Delighted to be involved with it and really enjoy it and it's run from October to April every year and uh, we have about 16 fixtures, hopefully one every two weeks and we start from West Cornwall, even go to Bude and uh, anyone involved in Cornish golf is welcome to join it and uh, it's a chance for amateurs to play with professionals. We try to put a professional in each group of four so everyone has an in a, an event with at a professional which enhances their ability possibly and uh, they can see how the other people play and uh, also we try to mix them up so that they mix with other people all over the county and build up great camaraderie and friendships as the season goes on. It works very well indeed. And Keith, how long have you been involved with the Alliance? Um, I've been involved, Simon, for uh, 16 years now. And uh, what's the uh, membership of the Alliance like? How many do you normally get to each fixture? Uh, on average, um, we normally have about 80, uh, peaking at 100, 104. 
Um, but it's been extremely good even in, in this current year, in spite of the current financial climate, it's been very well supported. And Dave, uh, obviously when uh, you get the chance amateurs to play with professionals, it becomes quite popular and if anyone wanted to come along and play in the Alliance or for more information, is there a website they can go yeah, on? They can, they just go on to uh, www.cornwallpga.co.uk and online and all the information they'll need is on that site and contact either myself or Keith and for any further information we'll um, give them verbal help, uh, no problem whatsoever. And even if it's a single, obviously uh, this is played in four yeah, ball better balls, but if a single... We have somebody who individually wants to play, we can find a partner, you always, never failed yet. There is also a professional match play competition event held every year and the 2012 Cornwall Match Play Champion was won by Kilio Golf Club's Richard Sadler. The latest Cornwall PGA Alliance event was played at Falmouth Golf Club and the amateur event was won by Truro member Spike Drew and his partner David Kneebone of Travose with an outstanding score of 45 Stableford points. The winner of the professional individual prize was Cornwall PGA captain and Whitson Bay head professional Andy Welsh with 34 Stableford points. For more information about Cornwall Professional Golfers Association, visit their website www.cornwallpga.co.uk. In Cornwall Golf News, Truro Golf Club won the Cornwall Junior Champion Club at Cape Cornwall Golf Club. The team of Emily Wilson, Jack Andrew and Joe Reynard scored a very impressive aggregate total of 113 Stableford points to qualify for the national finals at Woodall Spa Golf Club in August. In the Channel League, the Cornwall men's team took on defending champions Devon at Tavistock Golf Club. Cornwall were leading after the morning foursomes by three matches to two, but Devon came storming back and won the singles by seven matches to three, and resulted in Devon winning the contest by nine matches to six. The Cornwall girls under 18s team won against the Devon junior girls by four and a half matches to a half at Boringdon Park Golf Club. The Cornwall ladies had similar success beating Staffordshire in a friendly match at Travose Golf Club by eight matches to four matches. Golf in Cornwall has teamed up with Budock Veen Hotel and Golf Club and Mullion Golf Club to offer a great prize in our fortnightly competition. You can win a fantastic one-night stay for two people at Budock Veen Hotel and this includes a round of golf on their scenic golf course plus an evening meal in their restaurant. The prize also includes a round of golf for two people at Mullion Golf Club. To win this prize, simply answer the following question. Which Cornish town is Budock Veen Hotel and Golf Club situated near? A. Penzance B. Falmouth C. Redruth To enter, please email your answer to golfcompetition at cornwallchannel.co.uk by midday on Monday the 29th of April 2013. Competition entries are open to anyone over the age of 18. The competition winner will be notified by Friday the 3rd of May 2013. Terms and conditions apply. We hope you've enjoyed this episode of Golf in Cornwall. See you on the next programme.